everybody. My name is Charles Workman. I'm going to talk to you about an emerging technology in the biofuels industry called anaerobic digestion. I'm also going to talk about how this technology can be marketed and deployed in the Philippines. And I'm going to talk about how the Philippines has the potential to be highly successful by harnessing the, harnessing the benefits of cheap, low-cost biogas, unlike most other developing countries. So to begin with, let's discuss the production and the availability of energy in the Philippines. The majority of power generated in the Philippines is contracted to independent utility companies. A recent study from Stanford University indicates that the Philippine government has signed more independent power producing contracts since 1994 than the rest of the developing world combined. According to Dr. Sharon Better from the University of Australia, electricity prices for consumers in the Philippines are now the highest in the ASEAN region. Even World Bank analysts admit that the independent power producers have often inflated the supply of prices for utilities. Now, there are many regions in the Philippines that are full of people who do not have power available to them, or they cannot afford to pay for the price of this power. Here is one such region. Banaue is located on the island of Luzon, right here in the northern province. The Benali rice terraces are over 2,000 years old, and they are commonly referred to by Filipinos as the eighth wonder of the world. People walk up and down these rice terraces transporting tools and materials that they use for rice growing and for swine farming. They do this each day, and they walk because they cannot transport these items with any type of power equipment or machinery. Energy in the form of electricity or fuel is almost non-existent because most of these farmers cannot afford to pay for it, or because there's not an efficient way to transport this power throughout these mountainous terraces. Ifugao farmers barely make enough money from this rice growing tradition to sustain themselves, and they live off the crop that they produce each growing season. Besides, imagine hefting bottles of LPG gas, or diesel fuel, or even gasoline up and down these rice terraces each day. I think that's something that probably none of us would be able to do uh, on a continuous basis. <clears throat> in the Philippines, most power comes from oil and from coal. According to this chart, in 2005, 79% of all energy produced in the Philippines came from fossil fuels. 79%. The majority of the renewable energy in the Philippines is attributed to geothermal power and hydroelectricity. However, there have not been significant investments from the Philippine government to harness the energy to its fullest potential using hydroelectric power. Now, since we know that oil prices can swing worldwide from $50 to over $150 per barrel within just a few months, the need for an affordable energy solution in third world countries becomes more pronounced. Our cohort believes that a sustainable alternative for energy for Filipinos is biogas, 